Hello everybody and welcome to my workshop tour. Now hopefully the sound is okay. This is just the internal microphone on the digital SLR camera which I've noticed does sometimes pop and crackle when I'm speaking because the microphone is very close uh, to, well, the top of the camera. Um, but yes, hopefully the sound is okay. Usually I don't do voiceovers in here. But yeah, we'll just see how we go. So yeah, I've had many requests to do a workshop tour. Um, I've had several different comments saying that every workshop I do a video in is different. Um, this is my new workshop. This is the one which every video from now on is going to be in. Uh, basically, just been saving up for something with a bit more quality. So this is it. This is the workshop for the future. Uh, hopefully most of my machinery restore videos are going to be done in here. And also some Dagger and Extra videos. Uh, in fact, quite a lot of Dagger and Extra videos. So. Yeah, I'm just going to give you a quick tour. Now, not everything is actually in here. I do have other tools which I don't use quite as often, which are quite big and cumbersome, such as the hydraulic press. Uh, they're, they're elsewhere. So this is just really the, the main working room. It's only 10 by 16 or 16 by 10. Um, so it is just a nice working environment to do bench top restorations. Obviously, I've got the Kubota in here currently, uh, but most of the time, I don't think there'll be ride on mowers in here. Uh, although, obviously, if I'm doing a ride on mower restoration, there will be. So, yeah, it's going to be mostly bench top stuff. Now, uh, this workshop is just a few weeks old. Like I said, I'm hoping to uh, do many videos in here over the coming well years. That is the plan. But anyway, I'll just give you a really quick tour. Now, this is the first tool toolbox just here. Just a mess, basically. I'm not very good at tidying toolboxes, but I do like a tidy workshop. Um, yeah, so this is just everything which I use on a regular basis. Notice there's no hammers in there. Hammers are great tools, but they don't fix everything. <laughs> Some might argue they fix nearly everything. Anyway, yes, um, the focus is just, it's just set up on uh, manual focus. I'm just gonna have to keep changing it. But you can see I've just got, you know, tape measures, wire brushes, the paint pen, Drill bits, everything in the top there, some ratchet spanners in here. Uh, things like pliers, vice grips, circlip pliers, fuel line pliers, which are really handy when changing a filter or something in line. Measuring tools in here, some calipers. They shouldn't really be in here, but anyway, they are. There's some files. Some other stuff as well and the hammer drawer which is uh, not too busy at the moment but I do have some others because uh, some jobs do require bigger hammers okay so uh, yeah some parts out here for the current repair project which is the Kubota like I say the focus might not always work um, you can never have too many cloths and also the MC51 is there which was sent to me uh, for the machinery restorer channel for doing restorations and stuff. It basically dissolves rust. It's a very good product. Um, but yes, in front of there we have the polishing wheel. Next to that we have the grinder, bench grinder, six inch bench grinder with one side having the wire wheel, which is very handy. Got some wonder wipes, which I'm not sponsored for, but I will just mention them anyway. Uh, in fact, I'm not, not sponsored by anybody on this channel. In fact, I'm not sponsored by anybody anywhere. Um, Multi-use wonder wipes. Use on hands, tools, surfaces, cleans up silicon, or silicone as some people like to call it, paint, sealant, adhesive, uh, bitumen, expanding foam, oil grease, and much more. Plus contains powerful antibacterial additive, the wipe that works. Yeah, they are good. So that is, that's an honest opinion. Not being paid to tell you that, I bought them myself. Um, got some new sockets just here, some spanners. This is for when I do aerosol painting. Switch it on, it's got a fan. Basically inhales the mist, the, the paint mist, which is not being, you know, the excess, which is not going on to uh, whatever it is you're painting. So it basically helps to clean the air. And it's got a duct around the back. It's not properly set up currently, but yes, that is gonna be used in the future. Some more ratchets just here. Yeah, obviously it's a working workshop, so 
things aren't all put back as they should be. Respirator, which I use for pretty much everything, which requires a respirator. It's actually uh, called this grinder just there. Various bits of hardware. Yes, 100 of those. Impressive. Uh, riv nuts, nuts, screws, pop rivets, electrical terminals, lots and lots of stuff. Uh, Henry the vacuum just down here. How are you doing, Henry? Woo! Good, good to hear. Yeah, we've got loads of stuff under there. Things like um, degreaser, white vinegar, um, measuring jugs for oil, more hardware, basically lots of different things. And then uh, got some uh, jump leads. Come on, focus. Jump leads. Good. Under here we've got some spanners. Lots of silver line spanners. I think the silver line are pretty good, but I do have some more expensive ones as well. And then it's a bit dark under here, but there's lots of different tools. Some are specialist tools and others are just, you know, useful tools for doing engine work. These are very handy. The twist socket set. Uh, basically, if you, if you have a rounded off head on a bolt, these will eat into it and remove it. So they are worth having. They weren't cheap, I think they were 30 pounds, possibly 40 pounds, but they, they really are handy. If you have a, a rounded off head, rounded off bolt or nut, they work, they're good things. And yeah, we've got things like tap and die set, uh, nut splitters, the plastic is just sheeting so I don't paint things I shouldn't paint. Welding helmets, thread repair kits, new impact wrench and um, yeah some grease just having a nice sit on the floor yes that is the project I'm currently working on just waiting for some seals new Hitachi impact wrench uh, which is a nice impact wrench very powerful obviously cordless 5 amp power lithium ion battery 18 volts and it does even have a light as well which you can see under there so yeah, it's a nice, nice impact wrench, but it was expensive. But sometimes you just get what you pay for. Leaf blower, stuff, grinder, drill, sander. White spirit, safer spirit, which is like a soapy version. Um, handy, not very good for cleaning engines, but still handy for cleaning various things. Uh, then some compressor oil, some aerosol. I haven't really sorted this corner out yet, but Nitrile gloves, fire extinguisher, screwdriver selection, and you see the grey one, the grey handle sticking up. Those are the bits for it. So you can you can use different bits, multi-purpose tool. And then loads more of these. The lighting is going to be a bit bright, but yeah, loads more of uh, just a variety of different stuff. Just a, a cheap welder just there, cheap MIG welder, just for tacking stuff really. Uh, battery charger. Then there is the torque wrench, various filters. The sandblasting cabinet just over here with the vacuum on the side, which does a very good job. The filter is very effective. Um, yeah, I fitted it onto there a few months ago. I don't know if it was exactly for this one, but it, it works perfectly. It fits in absolutely perfectly. And um, yeah, you get no dust at all because those things are dusty. And yeah, you do not want to be breathing it in. So. I think it was, uh, I felt like the price went up quite a bit after I bought it, so I, I was pretty lucky. I think I paid £70, but I reckon it's about 90 now. So, um, yeah, but you, you can't really put a price on your health. And just tucked behind there is a silent compressor. Silent meaning it's about the same volume as talking. And um, yes, it's uh, purely for the sandblaster. Various hardware, Jubilee clips, Grommets, springs, blade fuses, circlips, all that kind of stuff. Copper washers. Carbon monoxide detector, just in case, you never know, especially if the heat is going. O-ring selection in the red box. Kubota uh, parts just there. Kubota filters for this Kubota. This one here. Fan for dust extraction or just for cooling me down. Um, but yeah, this place is insulated. It's sound insulated and obviously heat insulated. Um, 
I used uh, rock wool, which seems to be very effective stuff. So yeah, pretty good. It's a bit darker in this corner, but yeah, that's the jump pack used regularly. And then, uh, well, these are full of gaskets, the drawers that is. Uh, this is a, an inspection camera or an endoscope, looking inside uh, cylinder bores and stuff like that. These are my cutting discs vacuum cleaner bags, vacuum cleaner attachments, calculator, PTFE tape, masking tape, bulbs, pop riveter under there. These are good. In my opinion, probably the best metal drill bits you can get. Although obviously that's open to debate, so you don't have to agree with me. Just what I found. Uh, I found that a lot of others just work very well to begin with, but they either snap or go blunt very, very quickly, whereas these keep going. Yep, so uh, some gaskets, some seals, punches, and some picks. Engine tools, uh, so the grinding paste for lapping valves, the, uh, the valve flappers themselves, the Briggs & Stratton screwdriver for removing things like the uh, emulsion tube and jet, engine honer, engine puller, spark plug gap setter, lots of stuff. Lots of different sealant, sealant in here, different attachments for the Dremel. It's my other tap and die sets in here. Cheap ones, but they can still be handy, some of these. Um, they're more expensive, the US Pro ones, pretty good and some pop rivets and stuff, pipe cutter. Gasket sets. Various engine tools again, so valve spring compressors. This is the uh, battery tester. Oil filter remover, piston ring uh, expanders or, you know, installers. There's a seal puller back there as well. It's a piston ring compressor. So lots of stuff. And then this one really is just full of rubbish. So yeah, manuals and uh, a few bits of trim, hose, nothing special. I just throw all the, the scrap into here. Talk about scrap. Those batteries need to be disposed of. Yeah, so it's just full of rubbish. But yeah, like I say, this isn't everything. This is just the majority of it. So hopefully you've enjoyed the workshop tour. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, please do ask. Hopefully be able to respond to them. As long as it's not, where's the face reveal?